So let's figure out what marketing is. Some of you may see in descriptions like marketing is the action that promote products, actions that help businesses to reach out their audience and sell something. So all talks about sales and promotions and it makes sense. But anyway, I think marketing has a deeper goal than just selling and promote something. Actually, that is why I created this video and maybe these thoughts will be interesting for you. So in my opinion, marketing is the technology for changing human behavior after consuming information. And the main purpose of marketing is to change human behavior. This is the key thing. Behavior can be absolutely different. You can buy something, try something, read, watch something, sign up on the website, go somewhere, or even board a spaceship and go to war with the aliens you have never seen before. I will give you a simple example. You are walking on the street thinking about how your boss is so bad and suddenly you see the restaurant ad, like coffee with chocolate croissant. And you think, hmm, it looks so tasty, damn it, I want this. And you enter this coffee shop and buy this coffee and chocolate croissant. But the main idea is that 30 seconds ago you didn't have any thoughts about it. You saw the information. In this case, it was an image of coffee and chocolate and your behavior changed. 30 seconds ago, you were thinking about work, about your bad boss, but now you are drinking coffee and eating croissant. You know, it looks so obvious and in most cases people don't think in this direction. For all people, marketing is something like Facebook ads, Google ads, or how many leads did we get today and something like this. But for me, marketing is about changing human behavior and converting it into the actions that you need as a seller. By the way, uh, drop the comment below this video. Are you agree with this or disagree with this? Maybe you have another opinion about description, what marketing is. So don't be shy, uh, text your opinion. It will be interesting to chat with you below this video. So next, let's figure out another important topic that will blow your mind. Let's talk about the foundation of marketing. And you will see that it based on the two pillars. There are a psychological part and technical part. The psychological part is an information that changes human behavior. And the technical part is how you deliver this information to people's mind. Once again, about our coffee shop example. You see the image of this delicious chocolate croissant and you begin to want them. The picture is the visual information that changes your behavior. You begin to want to eat croissant after seeing it. And the outdoor ads banner is the technology to deliver this information into your mind. Another example. You can watch the same information about croissant and this coffee shop in someone's Instagram. The information is the same, but the delivery channel is different. The problem is that people don't divide psychological and technological parts. They think in categories like YouTube marketing, Instagram marketing, Facebook ads, CEO, and something like this. In all cases, digital marketing or marketing channels are the technology to deliver information in different formats, like images, short text, long text, or video, or something else. And the main point is, if the information does not change human behavior, the change of delivery channel will not help you. This is extremely important, guys, and I will repeat it again. If the information does not change human behavior, the change of delivery channel will not help you. I'm sure you have seen a lot of people that said something like, in my business, Google Ads is not working. I will try Facebook Ads. And they flipping different types of digital marketing again, again, and again. Of course, different businesses need to use different marketing channels. I just want to explain you how it works in general. And the main idea is if your information, I mean offer, does not convert, any super modern technology 
won't help you. I tell you a story about my college friend and you know all of us had a strange college friend and this guy had a real problem with communicating with the girls and he really didn't figure out uh, that his offer was not interesting. He caught girls in the hallway between classes and asked them for a number. Every time they rejected him. After that he found their numbers. By the way, I really uh, don't figure out how he did it. Maybe in college time he was working in lead generation agency. <laughs> this is a professional joke. So he texted the first message like, hey, let's go grab a cup of coffee. The girls didn't answer. Then he sends another message, another, and silence. Then he thought, hmm, maybe I should call them. And after a few calls, in most cases, he was blocked. But he didn't give up and he reached out them on Instagram. I'm not joking. This guy really didn't figure out what the problem was. And the problem was in the product and in the information that he delivered not in communication channel. Do you think people do differently in business? They are doing exactly the same things. And that is why my team and I prepared a downloadable file with a map where you can figure out how to scale a digital marketing agency and transform it into a tech startup. What sales technique do you need to use and how to target high paying customers? It is actually our way in API way. We started at a marketing agency and after that transformed our agency into a tech startup. And you can learn more about it and replicate this path much faster than we did. So if you are interested in scaling your digital marketing agency, follow the link in the description and download the file and explore this map. Another interesting thing that people don't figure out, and for my opinion it is very important is that psychological part has not changing for centuries, but the technology part is changing very quickly. The sales triggers that converted people 2000 years ago are the same nowadays, but the technology of delivering information completely changed it. 2000 years ago people used only world of mouse technology, and it was only one way to transfer information. You could tell someone something and that's all. After that, people learn how to crypt and decrypt information using alphabets and books. What actually the book is? It is encrypted information that you can transmit at the distance and time. Imagine the ancient Rome time and you need to say something to your military general that performing, let's say, in Germany or in Britain. And the only way you can use is to write a text. The text format was absolutely dominating for 2000 years. But the industrial revolution came and humanity got the radio and cinema. It means that you could transmit information for thousands of miles in one moment. Movies allowed it us to create virtual pictures. This is another level of the matrix. In the movie, you can live in the other universe. In the 70s, the era of mass television came and now we are living in post-TV era where every person can have his own TV channel like YouTube or have a radio like an Apple podcast or have their own newspaper like a blog on the website or blog on Facebook or Instagram blog. But the crucial thing is that the content in books and newspapers is not so different from blogs. Content in theaters is not so different from movies. 2000 years ago, people watched gladiators fights in Coliseum, eat bread and drank wine. Let's watch what people are doing now. They watching John Wick in the cinema, drink Coca-Cola and eat popcorn. TV, it is also not so different from YouTube, you know. Let's compare old school TV show with the stand-ups, for example. So it means that in general, the information is the same and didn't change for hundreds of years. But the technology of delivering this information into the human mind changes very quickly. Because every 10 years we get a new platform for delivering information. In 70s it was TV, in 90s mobile phones, 
in 20s websites. After websites, it were Facebook and Instagram. Now it is a chat GPT. So the technologies are changing very quickly. Another important conclusion that I came about marketing is that every day people get up and ask the question to themselves. How do I need to live? Why should I clean my teeth twice a day? Why not one or three? Why should I eat popcorn when I'm watching a movie? Why the Coca-Cola is the best drink for Christmas party? There are a lot of stereotypes and you do it automatically without thinking. The question how to life is what people ask it at all times. Before the 20th century, the answer to this question was given by religion and the government. If you read the Bible or other holy books, you will know that these books are the instructions for people on how they need to live. And these instructions are moral standards. Reading a Bible, you can figure out what is a good and what is a bad. And you can really on these moral standards. But in 20th century, all changed. The main shift in society was that the big corporations started to tell you how to live. Let's say Coco Chanel told all women, why do you wear only dresses? Women can wear trousers and it's normal. Moreover, she said, it's not just normal, it's fucking cool. And all women said, damn it, why didn't I think of that? Really? Was that an option? Or let's say, don't rent a hotel room, stay in someone's place using Airbnb. You don't have account on social networks. Are you crazy? You don't like our agenda. Hmm. Something wrong with you. The government and religion help you to understand what you need to do in general. But brands tell you what you need to do exactly in the niche where brands perform. Imagine that your brain is like a rack with the boxes. And every box is some category in your life that you are interested in. For example, car box. Imagine that in this box you can find rules about how you should think in, in this particular niche. Let's say you like Mercedes-Benz and in your car box category you have information that Mercedes is the only worth car in the world because it is a status thing and all successful people have a Mercedes and you can't be a really successful person without Mercedes. And let's say your friend also has the same box, but in his box he had instruction that Tesla is the best solution because it's so cool, green energy, blah, 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 blah. For all product categories you have the box and the brands are fighting to be in the first place in this box in your mind. The best products created their own category. For example, Jacuzzi it is the name of the company or Xerox or Pampers. These categories of goods are named by the companies that invented these products. The entrepreneurs create new boxes, new categories and unique products. Marketers try to put your brand in the box and put your competitor out of this box. You should understand that all battles are going in the consumer's head and your goal as a marketer is to use the information and different delivery channels, I mean technology, to change human's behavior as you need as a seller. So let's sum up our lesson and make some conclusions. The first thing is that marketing is the technology for changing human behavior after consuming information. And the main purpose of marketing is to change human behavior and turn this behavior into the actions that you need as the seller. The second thing is that marketing based on a two pillars, psychological part and technological part. Psychological part is the information that change human behavior. And technology part, it is how you deliver this information into human's mind. The third thing is that psychological part is not changing for centuries, but technological part changing very quickly. And the final thing is that brands tell people how they need to live and try to get the first place into a brand's category box. So this is the end of our video and if you like it, subscribe to my channel, drop the comment below and see you on the next videos.